What's up everyone and welcome back to Top 5 Central. Today we're going to be taking a look at the top 5 scariest things caught on surveillance footage. Now we did do a part 1 to this a while ago so if you do want to check that video out it will be linked in the description below. And as always if you do go on to enjoy be sure to leave a like down below. Let's see if we can smash 10,000 likes on this video. But with that being said let's jump straight into it. Number 5 now in 2016, the world was caught in one of the scariest events known to man, an invasion of evil deadly killer clowns. No matter where you were in the world, whether it was taking a walk through some fields, driving past some shops in a city, or just chilling out in a playground, the threat of maybe bumping into a killer clown was very real. I mean, people were literally being chased down the street by clowns with baseball bat and knives. The one place you would usually be safe from the clowns was your own home, at least until we started seeing videos like this one. Basically, it's around 2.30am when the clown shows up, and he seems to be trying to get in through the front door. Obviously, that's pretty scary, but he's also holding on to a huge knife, so I'm pretty sure he wasn't just breaking in to say hello. He tries the handle, and when that doesn't work, he circles around the house, and he only leaves when he's tried every single door around the building. It's pretty terrifying, especially since the family were asleep inside the whole time, and the family thought so too. I mean, even the caption underneath the video says he would probably all be dead if he got in. Spooky, right? Number 4 Seeing a ghost in person has got to be pretty scary, but there's something even scarier. A ghost could be in front of you literally right now and you would never even know. That's almost what happened to this teenager when he took a trip to the Vatican, but thankfully he took a video camera with him to document his holiday. And looking back on the footage changed everything. He thought he was just filming the old buildings, but the camera could obviously see something that he couldn't because it showed a creepy orange figure floating above the tomb. Now the figure definitely wasn't there in real life, but on the video footage, there's no missing it. It's right in the middle of this shot, it's kinda hard to make out, but it does look like it has its head bowed, and in some stills, you can even see its feet floating above the ground. If you think about it, it's not really surprising that a ghost would choose to hang out there, since ghosts love old buildings with stories, and St. Peter was crucified right outside and buried under that exact spot. In St. Peter's Basilica, the 19-year-old recorded a strange image that seems to be hovering well above the crowd. Kind of see where the feet is a bit. Cloak, maybe. I don't know. Kind of looks like his head's pointing off to the left area. Fowler didn't see the image in person, only learning he'd captured the mysterious shape when he was back in B.C. To my buddy sister, picked, uh, picked it up my camera. She's like, what's that? And I'm like, what are you talking about? And I just saw that image. She's like, ooh. So it kind of blew me away. But, no, I couldn't see it in... Like with the everybody else's faces in the camera, like nobody's looking in that direction or anything. A second pass with the camera and the image seems to be in a slightly different location inside the 500 year old building. So much history in Basilica and it's where Jesus' second disciple, uh, St. Peter, got crucified upside down and he's buried right underneath that spot. I was, I was shocked. I was, I'm not much of a ghost believer or anything, but it's just kind of... I don't know, it was just, woo, that's kind of weird. But he says he just might be a believer now. Number 3 Now if you've been watching creepy videos on the internet for a while, you've probably seen these guys before because they're so scary, they've become a bit of an urban legend. I mean, the Nightcrawlers have been around since 2007 and tons of people have offered up explanations for what they think is going on in the videos. But the truth is, nobody has any idea. The quick version of the story is that a man had his house robbed, so he set up a camera to catch the culprit. In the end, he didn't catch the people who had been stealing his stuff, 
but he did catch something way more frightening. It's low quality, but you can see what looks like a pair of legs walking along the grass, which would be fine, except there's nothing attached to them. If you look really close, you can kind of make out a head too, but whatever the creature is, it definitely isn't human. To be fair though, it doesn't seem dangerous, it just wanders along the guy's yard and then leaves, which, to be honest, makes it even creepier, like, what does it want or where did it come from, we'll never know, but you're welcome to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Number 2. Now creepy surveillance videos of ghosts and aliens are all well and good, but let's be honest, there's nothing scarier than when a baby's in danger, especially when you're a parent. Here's what happened, a teenage burglar broke in through the window of this family's house, and then he saw the crib standing in the corner of the room. Now thankfully the baby was fine, but seeing the robber stand there and watch him for a few seconds is genuinely terrifying. Even worse, the baby stirred when he came in but didn't fully wake up because he thought it was his dad who was standing there with him the whole time. The burglar eventually left, but not without taking the dad's laptop bag with him, and the whole family kept on sleeping as though nothing had happened. It was only when they checked the footage that the dad realised how much of a close call he'd had and how much worse things could have been. The story does have a happy ending though because the guy broke into another house straight after theirs and had to make a run for it when the people living there noticed him. He dropped everything he'd stolen on the lawn so not only did the dad's baby end up safe but his laptop did too. Number 1 Now it's pretty easy to watch ghost videos and come up with theories for other explanations, but guys, if I'm being honest, this one left me speechless. The footage is actually from a low budget Malaysian documentary about paranormal experiences, and it shows a woman being attacked and maybe even killed in a haunted hotel. All of that is obviously pretty terrifying all by itself, but what makes things way worse is that you cannot see the attacker. Aside from a shimmering outline in some frames, it looks like she's being thrown around by nothing except thin air, which is maybe the scariest part of all. You have to look closely, but while the woman is sitting alone in the room, you can kind of see the outline of a transparent figure sitting behind her. The ghost vanishes and the chariot was sitting in moves and the woman is clearly freaked out because she turns around to see what's going on and then immediately tries to call someone. If you think that's creepy, then you'll see what happens next, because soon the ghost is flipping tables, chairs, and even throwing the woman up against the wall. She tries to run away, but she ends up laying face down on the floor, and again, there's tables moving around and stuff like that. And overall, this one is really hard to explain, so let me know some of your thoughts on this one in the comment section below.
and there's a video on the top 5 scariest things caught in surveillance footage. Remember, we did do a part 1 to this a while ago, so feel free to check that out in the description below if you did enjoy this video. Also, again, if you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like down below as well, guys. Let's see if we can smash 10,000 likes on this video. That would be insane. But with that being said, subscribe if you're new, and we will catch you all in the next video.